I can get my light right. Hey, Marie. I'm trying to adjust my light a little bit. It's not working out <clears throat> the way I want it to. So it's allergy season in Georgia. <laughs> Ooh, really is allergy season in Georgia. The, you can see the pollen in the air. Ooh, goodness. So today we are going to make three cards. Hi, Mom. Um, we are going to... <clears throat> I'm going to make with you the cards that I did on Monday in my beginner's card class, okay? Here's one. Here's one, and I can't reach the other one. I'll get it in a minute when we get to it. <clears throat> but this is a lot of, um, I would call it simple stamping. Um, because This is, like I said, this is what I do for my beginner's card class. Um, I love, love, love my beginner card class. I love my beginner card peeps. They come, some of them are not beginners anymore, but it's okay. I love them just the same. Um, but I, I really do enjoy simple stamping. Oh, good. Yes. Take a nap while, while Grammy stamps or talks about stamping. So there you go. All right. So let's get started. Um, cause I'm going to show you, it doesn't have to take a lot of time to do <clears throat> these cards. So this is the way I give the card packs at class. So everybody has, this is the way the little box is. The card is right here on a little clip and then, so you can see what it looks like and it'll turn so everybody can see it. And then, um, everybody gets a card pack and they make two of each card. Hey, Denise, how are ya? So right now we're just going to make one. So I only need half of these pieces of paper. And then I have another one left if I want to make another card. So we're going to start with this piece right here and we're going to get stamping. So this one is using the Butterfly Wishes stamp set which is an older one, but still very nice. We're going to use Soft Suede um, ink. And we're just going to stamp this whole branch. Right there. That's all there is to that. And then we are going to stamp some butterflies. And this is the prettiest butterfly. I mean, I know our new butterflies are pretty, but he's just so vivid. I'm going to stamp one on the inside, too. Don't forget about the inside of your card. Especially not when you have a beautiful, beautiful butterfly like that that you can put on it. And just make it pretty. Oh, we need to do the sentiment. A sweet friendship refreshes the soul. And we'll see if we can get it straight. Hopefully we can. Eh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. So earlier today, <clears throat> I had the, um, uh, what's it called? He's called an exterminator. Um, he came because mm, I have termites or at least I can see termites so I called them in a panic this morning hello from Australia um I called the exterminator in a panic and the guy came out and he was not panicked thank goodness because you know if the exterminator panics then we're really in trouble so the and the termites are in my craft room Okay, they're in the windowsill, so 
the exterminator says that these are swarmers. Like that, that means anything to me. And these are not the really harmful termites. Like, no, we don't want them, but there's no long-term damage done to your home, he said. So we're just going to get rid of these guys and we'll make sure that they don't come back. This is the, is it in good taste? In good taste paper. Isn't it just gorgeous? I love that wood look. So, and then this guy's going to go right here. Um, uh, anyway, so yeah, termite guy. So he comes into my craft room and he was like, oh, I'm really glad you're organized because you got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, um, you can't have this much stuff and not be organized. I, well, at least I don't think you can, but he's like, my wife would love this. And I'm like, oh, tell me more about your wife. So he's like, oh, she, she sews and she has a cricket or, yeah, and she does the vinyl designs and she's, and I'm like, oh, I have a catalog. Maybe you should take her my catalog. I said, I make cards and I teach card classes. And, and he was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, give me the catalog. <laughs> I was like, Heck yeah. Now I have an exterminator and maybe a customer. So there you go. Okay. So there's the first one. Super simple. Way easy. Okay? So, like I said, at my card class, everybody makes two of each one. So, you can make two of those cards. My card class. And we make three different designs at all of my card classes. So, that's that's how I do that. So, there's the one box. Off it goes. to Never Never Land. And here's card number two. And this is using the Circle Celebration. And I have not used the stamp set enough. It's, it's, it's cute. I like it. And so we're going to use um, Pacific Point and Old Olive on our basic white. And I have a tip for you coming up. There's a tip. And the tip is not, does your, did your, did your mom or your grandma ever say, I got a tip for, don't run with scissors in your hands. There's a tip for you. Well, that's a great tip, but that's not my tip. You have to hang on tight. You have to hang on for my tip. Yeah, I knew I had enough. Okay. So, Old Olive card base. And we have, so I have two sizes of these. One goes on the inside of my card. And this is the one for that. Yep, that's the one for the outside. If we get them messed up, then we just have to trim them. And it's it's perfectly okay. So we're going to start with Old Olive. And we're going to stamp some circles. And did you, do, did you see me do that? Let's get it the right way, Sandra. I don't need ink on the block. I need ink on the stamp. So there's that one. And just because it's right here, I'm going to use mine as an example. That old olive is really dark. I'm not really sure what's going on with it right now. I say that and then this one's not going to be. As it stamps. And then Pacific Point, which is one of my absolute favorite colors. Absolutely. One of my favorite colors. Um... Oh, so you guys will have to watch on um, Saturday on my blog. I am going to do... Are you ready for this? Drum roll. I'm going to do a blog hop. It's my first. Um, and a blog hop is um, a group of people, they all... There's a theme. And so this theme is... Um, Earth Day. That's what it is. I know there's words. Use them, Sandra. Words are important. Um, Earth Day. So I have my blog post all ready to go. All I need is everybody's links. 
we get it all linked up. And on Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time, I don't know what time that is around the world. Honestly, don't know what time it is in Australia. Um, but our blog hop will go live. So you can read all the different blogs. They'll all be linked. It's really kind of cool. So the sentiment is from, here's a card. Because that's a cool stamp set. If you need sentiments, that's a cool one. Okay, so here's my tip. Did you know that you can make any color pearl that you might happen to need? Take a Stampin' Blend. And voila. Now you have green, old olive, <clears throat> flavored, uh, um, pearls. Just like that. It's that simple. But sure nice to do so that everything matches. We're going to put one right in the middle there. And there. So, um, yeah. And not just the pearls. You can color most of the embellishments and some of the ribbons that Stampin' Up! has. So if you need a certain color for something, go ahead and try it. Um, I mean, really, just try it. See what happens. It'll probably be good. Oh, Kathy, aren't these pretty colors together? Old Olive and uh, Pacific Point. I mean, like, not a color combination that I would have just randomly... Well, I guess that's not true, because I did just randomly pick them. But it's not a classic one, for sure. Maybe it should be. Old Olive and Pacific Point. And there you have a cute, simple stamping. I think, do these count as simple stamping embellishments? Well, let's stamp a... Let's stamp something on the inside, just because we don't want it to just be naked. I mean, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular, just not naked. No naked middles. Not true, I leave my middles naked all the time. I mean, my cards. <laughs> my card middles. Oh, cute! I like your hearts, the way you do that, with the green and the blue. Alright, there you go. There's card number two. We're on our way. Card number three is coming up. See, these don't have to be hard. I mean, it's not rocket science. We don't have to use all of the dyes and all of the things every time. Sometimes I'm gonna put all these put all these away. Sometimes we can just stamp. And cards are pretty. And everybody who gets them loves them. So don't try to knock yourself out every time. Sometimes we can just be simple. It's okay. Okay, so this one is pretty simple too. It uses a background stamp. I love a background stamp. Love a background stamp. And who forgot about Celebrate Sunflowers? You know, let's get back to annual catalog stuff. I was crazy, crazy about the sunflowers. And then I just kind of lost it for a minute. So let's, let's do this again. So we're going to use So Saffron. Again, not a color that I go to all the time, but maybe I should. And let me show you my background stuff. Damn, I got another tip. Look at this. You get two tips. It's a twofer. We're going to use So Saffron. Stop me if you've heard this before. I'm kidding. Don't stop me. Anyway, so here's our background stamp. Now, you can use the block. I have the big old block. You don't have to use the block. You can just lay your stamp flat down on your paper. Okay? So, we're going to ink it up all over. 
with So Saffron ink. We're going to use our basic white paper. We're going to ink this up good. And we are going to take our basic white layer and we are going to lay it right on here. Okay, ready? Lay, lay it on there. Then you're going to take your paper and you're going to fold it over. Why? So this way you don't get ink all over yourself. And I don't know about you. If you've ever tried to lift up this stamp set, this stamp with the, a background stamp, um, I have pretty big hands. Look, I, I have pretty messy hands. But I have pretty big hands. And picking this stamp up, see all that ink that I didn't get on my hands? I got other ink on my hands, but watch. Ready? Wah! Isn't that beautiful? This is the dry brush. Dry, I think it's right here dry brush. It's really pretty. Um, so it's hard to pick it up and then lay it down and maybe get it straight or whatever. So now, now you don't have to do that. You lay it down flat, you lay your paper on it and fold your paper over. Okay. There you go. That's two. That's two tips today. I mean, you guys are lucky. So lucky. Okay. Here's another tip. Start with the sentiment on this card because if you don't you're liable to put your sunflowers over where you want the sentiment so we're going to put our sentiment down here at the bottom let's celebrate you and this is cinnamon cider again not a color i go to but we're they're using all kinds of colors that i don't normally go to but they're also pretty. I mean, I'm stamping, first, Stampin' Up! does not have an ugly color. So, and I'm stamping these off of the page. Okay. So you can stamp as many of these as you want in any of the places that you want. Knowing now that your sentiment will fit <laughs> because you did it first. And you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to put one at the bottom just because. And then, wait, let's put one on the inside. Inside. Like that. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, so I have a cinnamon cider layer to go with the, is it the right size? Yep, it is. Okay. To go with the um, so saffron, and then we have some enamel dots we're gonna put on here. Ooh, I am going! Yay, Mich Michelle, you can make this one. Michelle, you have a lot of supplies. You can make lots of things. Okay, so there's that. Let's get our... So we can use either the... I think we're going to use the, the cinnamon cider ones. Look, which which color do you think I like the most? Is, the, is that all? Wait, there's another one that's already open. Which... So there's a strip of bumblebee that's missing. And there's a strip of cinnamon cider that's almost missing. So that tells you I need to use the rest of them. And you know what? Magenta Madness is my absolute favorite color. You would think there would be less of those left in these packages. But alas, there is still Magenta Madness, which just needs... I just need to make something with Magenta Madness, apparently. Magenta Madness and Just Jade and Misty Moonlight. So there you go. Those are the, you can watch for projects made with those colors. Because <laughs> we have to use them all. I know these things are going to retire too. I love these little dots. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, so there's our card. 
There's our third card. Now, how long did that take? I can't see how long we've been on here, but not long. That's not long at all. Nope, can't, I still can't see. So we made three different cards that quick. Simple stamping. Easy peasy. You guys can do this. I know you can. Um, so let's see. What do we have? So I have a punch art class that is available. And if you're watching me on Facebook, you can scroll up to the top of my page and the punch art class is linked there. You can sign up for that. It is $35 and that is, that includes shipping. You'll get $25 in product, I think. And the punch art kits plus um, entrance, entrance. Um, you'll get um, added to a group where we will do all the videos for the group and a live video for drawings. So for $35, you can have all of that. And my friend Rhonda Devlin helped me um, make these. And if you know anything about Rhonda Devlin, she is the super most talented stamper person that I know. So there you go. One, two, three cards. That was our video for today. And uh, Saturday, check out my blog hop, Ink stamplove.com that's where you'll find my blog hop you can sign up for emails and it'll email you every time I post a blog so you can check out our blog hop on Saturday okay I am going to be I'm actually not going to be here on Saturday I'm going to go see Noah's Ark I am leaving tomorrow morning and we're going to go to Kentucky and we're going to go see Noah's Ark and the Creation Museum and I am super excited about all of that so I will see you guys live again next Thursday, and I will catch you later. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it.